Have you ever wanted to grow cherry tomatoes from seeds in a pot? If you have, I'm showing you how I do it and we're starting right now. What's up guys? My name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other tomato related videos, start now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. All right guys, so today we're talking about how to grow cherry tomatoes from seeds in pots. It's super easy to do. There's tons of different varieties of cherry tomatoes that you can grow in your own garden, in pots or containers, and it's super easy to do. So we're gonna show you how I start my seeds I start them in the double cup method and then I'll get them moved out to a pot after they're hardened off and ready to go. Uh, you can also start these in a pot directly. I'll be showing you that in an upcoming video. But without further ado, let's jump on into the video. So the first thing you're gonna need guys is you're gonna need some sort of um, seed starting container. Uh, you can use the six packs or you can use a four inch pot. You can use basically whatever you have. Uh, and in my case, I love using the double cup method. So that's what we're using today. Uh, it's super easy to do. There's a one cup that has holes in it and then you have one cup that doesn't have holes in it. So the idea here guys is that the cup that doesn't have a hole is gonna be able to hold a little bit of moisture, a little bit of water uh, as a reservoir uh, for your other cup. And so when the plant needs it, it's gonna wick up the moisture that it needs. And essentially this saves from, you know, ever overwatering your plants. So super awesome method. Uh, if you wanna check out my double cup method video, you can check that out in the YouTube card above uh, and definitely get started using this method because it saved me a ton of time and a ton of money over the years. So let's get into it. Once you have your cups, you're gonna fill them with your potting mix or your seed starting mix, whichever one you like. Uh, there's really just a couple of keys here. Uh, you wanna make sure it's a soilless mix. Uh, you don't wanna start any sort of seeds in garden soil. I know that's people are tempted to do that every year, but it really is just not designed for that. So you wanna go with a seed starting mix or a potting soil, um, something that's made up of either peat moss, cocoa coir, uh, it's got some perlite in there, some other good stuff. But you wanna get your cup or your container filled up with that, and then we're gonna start our seeds right in the cup. So I've got my cup already filled up, and we're gonna go ahead and get these seeds started. So for this video, I'm actually starting a, a really popular cherry tomato variety. It's called Berry's Crazy Cherry. Uh, and this is available on Baker Creek's website, which is rareseeds.com. Uh, I've not grown this tomato before. Uh, I do have some in various stages growing here uh, in the garden. And so we're starting some more so that we can get sort of a progressive uh, situation going on there. So we have some producing, we have some that are getting ready to come on and hopefully we can have a great harvest. So we're gonna be starting these seeds. All right guys, so I've got my cup here and it's been filled up with the seed starting mix. Uh, this is actually the Jiffy seed starting mix. It's really good for this purpose. The tomatoes really love germinating in this really fine mix. Uh, you want to make sure it's pre-moistened. Uh, this is slightly damp. Uh, and then you want to take your seeds. Okay. And in this cup, you're going to put, I don't know, two, three, four seeds whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you are willing to uh, put in here. So in my case, I'm gonna put four, okay? And now the idea here, guys, is you'll do one of two things, is you'll either um, take these seeds, let them sprout, and you'll either pick the strongest one or two or whatever you're wanting to do. Most people put two to three seeds in here. I'm putting four because what I'll actually do is I'll actually take these and once they've sprouted, uh, and grown a little bit, I'll actually transplant them out or, or separate them, if you will. It's just super easy to do. Uh, I've got a video on that. You can check out my transplanting uh, 
my peppers uh, video in the YouTube card above. So all we're going to do now, since we have the seeds in place, is we're going to take a little bit more of the seed starting mix, and we're just going to put that right on top. Now because this mix is so light and fluffy, it can be right there on top and not have any sort of issues. Uh, the reason garden soil doesn't work is it's really super dense, uh, really tough for the seeds to push through. So once you have the seeds in there, you have your soil or your uh, starting mix on top, then you're going to take a sprayer or a mister bottle and you're just going to mist the top of, those, uh, of the seed starting mix. Okay, once you have that uh, moist, okay, all right, so I've got my seed started in here and all that's left really to do here is to, to mark them or to label them. So I'm going to do that right now. This is the berries, crazy cherry, okay. Okay, and you're gonna put that in there, just like that. And then the only other thing that I like to do here, guys, is I like to take a plastic Ziploc bag, and I like to take that and put it over the top. Now, you're probably wondering, like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? This is crazy, I've never seen that before. Well, what it actually does is it creates a mini greenhouse effect uh, for your seeds. It holds the moisture in, and you'll put this in your other cup. I actually have one right here. All right, so the last thing I like to do is I like to put it in my double cup setup by putting the cup on the bottom, and then I like to put a Ziploc bag right there on top. And what that does is it creates a mini greenhouse effect so that the seeds can stay moist. Um, it kind of holds in the humidity, helps the seeds germinate, and as soon as the seeds sprout, as soon as one seed sprouts, you want to take the Ziploc bag off and you want to get it under some lights. You want to make sure that you're using some sort of grow light uh, that has some good amount of light coming out of it. Uh, these plants are going to need light. If you're starting these indoors, they're going to need light. Uh, windowsill is not going to cut it. So get these under some lights as soon as they sprout. You want it to be too to three inches from the top of the plant uh, at all times. And just as the plant grows, either move your, your plant down or move the light up, either way. Um, but once these sprout, uh, I'll show you the transplanting pro uh, process and just how I separate them out into their own cups. And then we'll get those you know, transplanted out into the garden, into their pots uh, when the time comes. So. If you're not already growing cherry tomatoes, I encourage you get out there, get you some seeds uh, and get started. It's really super simple and it's really rewarding. Um, cherry tomatoes produce a ton uh, if you follow what I'm gonna show you in this video series. So if you're growing cherry tomatoes in your garden right now, drop a comment in the comment section below letting me know what varieties you're growing and what's your favorite variety of cherry tomato. Uh, also, if you're new here, drop a hashtag new there in the comment section below. That way I can welcome you properly to the channel. Uh, if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other tomato related videos, start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Check out these videos right here uh, to check out more gardening tips to help you grow the best garden of your life. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.